All right, so in this video, I uh, want to deal with a few of the common objections uh, that have come up since the last little clip I released about moving this styrofoam ball with a magnet. So here you can see it's uh, suspended inside of a bucket, and this should eliminate any air currents that may induce motion, as you can see in this little clip. It's always hard to convince anyone on on video, um, but you know, uh, try it out yourself if you got some strong magnets. And um, so there's two there with a an aluminum plate in between, and you can see the motion there in the ball. That's quite uh, quite noticeable. So in the next uh, segment here, I'm going to suspend it in a stainless steel can or pot as you'll see what i want to bring attention to is the fact that the motion was induced in the ball due to the motion of the magnet now this suggests to me that this effect is related not to paramagnetism or diamagnetism but to a type of induction that's happening within the material here I'm just showing that I've hooked the magnet up to the pot to ground out any kind of possible static electric charges that might be built up. So what I'm doing here is I did this for quite some time and wasn't able to observe any noticeable motion except for when I moved the ball a little bit further away from the wall it almost is barely visible as you might be able to see so I believe what's happening is the walls of the steel can are filtering out the changing magnetic field due to eddy currents being induced in them they kind of reflect them away and I think this is why we're not seeing the stronger induced motion as in the case with the plastic bucket this suggests to me that if the dynamic or motional magnetic field is being filtered out, that leaves only the magnetostatic field, which would be responsible for the paramagnetism and the diamagnetism, which is obviously having no effect on the ball. Thanks for watching.